So this is just a preview of a program called Satellite Tracker, which allows you to connect your telescope to a laptop and then track satellites in the sky. Now this was a recommendation by one of my subscribers who also provided the link to the website heavenscape.com where you can download Satellite Tracker. Now spacetrack.org is another site you would need to access and register an account because that will then allow you to download the latest two-line element data for the satellites, the TLE data. And in a future video I will show you how you can edit the batch files for this satellite tracker program to enable it to automatically download the TLE data based on your account. So let me just show you how this program will download that data. I'm going to download the full catalog and I'll just put my hand here so that you don't see my personal password which comes up on the screen. Okay, so it's now logged in and it's downloading the latest TLE data. And the program is now updated. Now, you can use a number of filters here. Elevation above 10 degrees. I've got only satellites above the horizon. Ascending only. And we can refresh the list. So there's 551 objects visible from my current location. And I'll just choose one of the Iridium satellites because they are quite fast moving across the sky. So there's one. 38 degrees azimuth and elevation 15 degrees and rising. So let's just start tracking that satellite. So what the telescope is doing now is called leapfrogging, which means it's looking at the satellite, it then repositions the telescope so that the satellite will transit across the field of view, and then it will reposition the telescope so that this continues to occur. So as you can see, that Iridium satellite is moving quite fast. And on it goes. Now, the reason I want to try this software is because it will also do the same thing with the International Space Station. So hopefully in a future video, when I have the time to go out and set all this gear up for an actual ISS transit, we should be able to capture some good video footage. Let's have a look at another satellite. Navstar. Those are the GPS satellites. Again, those are quite fast moving. And we could select geostationary satellites, which means the telescope will just go and point to it and then it would not move. But it has a dedicated ISS monitor, 
it will show you the next pass when it's coming along. It also shows us a map of the satellite that we're currently tracking. It's orbital path. And what else have we got? A sky map where the satellite is. So it's a basic little program, but very powerful. I'll be featuring this in detail in a future video.